we've actually done several studies on the presenter's paradox. And what we're finding is, suppose you want to give a loved one a present for the holiday season. And suppose you think, well, I'm going to give them a luxury cashmere sweater, but you also know that they enjoy coffee. And so you also think, well, gee whiz, I think I'm going to give them a $5 gift card. And so you bundle that together. Unfortunately, Steve may be missing a crucial part. It may be that if I'm the uncle who gets your cashmere sweater and a $5 gift card. I said, gee, that's a nice big gift when I look at the cashmere sweater. But may actually say, and this is a cute little gift card. And somehow the big gift and the little gift on average turn into a less generous gift than the cashmere sweater alone might have been. That's basically what we looked at in our study. So in one of our studies, we asked people to imagine that they're in charge of a marketing campaign for Apple. And we asked them, suppose you are you know, having a campaign around the iPod. And what you want to do is you're going to give them an iPod case as well as the iPod. And the question is, do you also include an additional five free songs that they can download from iTunes? Actually, what happens is that when we ask consumers which um, promotional package they think is uh, most appealing, they actually think the package that includes only the iPod with the cover is more appealing and actually rated as being more valuable than the package with the cover, the iPod and the five additional uh, free songs. In all of these examples, there's the same underlying principle. The person who puts together the presentation, who shows the goodies, who assembles the gifts, who puts together the marketing package, that person essentially follows a more is better rule. That person adds. So I take the big thing and I find a few other good things and I all add them together and I do my grab bag of good things and I get a big bag of good things. But the perceiver who evaluates that presentation and who says, is this really all good or is this really all impressive, that perceiver follows a different rule. That perceiver looks at the overall package and sees a big thing and some small things and essentially averages. And one big thing and a bunch of small things on average make something smaller than that big thing alone would have been. So you dilute the impact of your best information mm -hmm. by adding your second best information.